Near Washington, D.C. is the Beltsville Agricultural Research Center. It was established by the United States government in 1910 to seek knowledge which would help increase the world's food supply. On 5,000 hectares of land, science is being applied to agriculture. In this complex, hundreds of studies and experiments are going on simultaneously. Scientists here are exploring basic life processes, studying ways to make fields more productive, and experimenting with nutrition and animal growth. The result of all this research is made available to anyone and is shared with thousands of scientists all over the world. One quarter of the food grown in the world is ruined by insects. Scientists at Beltsville are probing for better ways of insect control. The growth and reproductive hormones in this larva will be analyzed and, if possible, synthesized in the search for safer, more effective control methods. Feeding an expanding population requires more food production, and we must control the insects to do it. Scientists from the center travel worldwide collecting plants and seeds, which are used to improve stock. The center has the largest collection of live plant material in the world. These colorful flowers, called impatiens, were found growing wild in New Guinea. They will be selectively crossbred to study plant adaptation, growth, and development. The aim here is not to produce prettier flowers, but if a new variety should evolve, it will be made public and soon will be blooming in gardens around the country. Through selective breeding, dwarf apple trees have been developed that produce fruit within three years rather than six years. They grow no higher than a man, making harvesting more economical. These particular trees have been grown in water, using only chemical nutrients. This means certain fruits can be grown in containers, anywhere. To make tomato production more profitable and maintain low prices, a machine harvester had to be developed but the project didn't start by designing a machine. The first step was to redesign the tomato. Scientists developed a small, firm flesh tomato that ripens at a uniform rate and stays on the plant till harvested. Yields have increased fivefold. 75 metric tons per hectare is not unusual. The one problem, not quite as tasty. The research continues. The center's animal population includes over 4,000 large farm animals. Milk is an excellent source of protein and essential amino acids, the kind of protein needed in a hungry world. But in much of the world, the necessary feed for cows is lacking. Cattle here are being successfully fed urea, a cheap synthetic chemical, holding out hope for milk production in new areas. Success in the center's livestock program has meant a new breed of meatier hogs, sheep that consistently give multiple birth, beef cattle that mature earlier, and dairy cows that routinely produce 25 liters of milk daily. A growing environmental problem in many cities is the disposal of sewage sludge, a residue of waste treatment plants. Sludge may contain bacteria, viruses, and heavy metals. It is considered a health hazard and a monumental nuisance. For years, a practical and economical method to sanitize and make sludge useful has been sought without success. At the center, scientists have come up with a process that is attracting visitors from around the world. Their solution, wood chips. The sludge is thoroughly mixed together with the chips by special machines developed here. The mixture is then stacked, and biological decomposition begins, destroying the harmful elements. The chips are then removed. The result is a material that can be used to enrich soils. The cities of Bangor, Maine, and Washington, D.C. are beginning to use this technique. A problem of the cities may become an answer to the needs of the countryside. At the center, 1,000 scientists are working on agricultural research. 
In a time of diminished crop reserves, with populations growing, there is a need as never before for finding new ways to increase the world's food production capability. Some of the answers may be found here, in Beltsville, Maryland. <laughs>